Last week, the school board chose an assistant superintendent as acting superintendent. And last night, members chose a retired principal to cover the interim of a potentially long job search. Now, it may sound like a routine procedure, but the audience was emotional. Kelly Griswold was there last night and joins us now from the WFT Newsroom. There was a mixed reaction to the selection of Sandy Hollinger. Supporters called it a vote for experience, while critics suggested the choice is not very forward-looking. Many people are still looking back on the board's decision to accept Owen Roberts' offer of resignation rather than his offer to work to regain trust. And when some look forward, they're not talking about a replacement superintendent. They're talking about replacing board members. Show us the numbers of the people who voted against the superintendent and for the superintendent, and then you vote accordingly. A hostile crowd watched the Alachua County School Board pick an interim superintendent. Community members came out to the Kirby Smith Center to voice their opinions on the selected candidates after the resignation of Owen Roberts. A four to one vote approved Sandy Hollinger, a retired principal who has filled in before. Uh, she's someone who is very well respected in the community. She has filled the role of an interim superintendent twice before in the past. She is definitely the most experienced person of the people who were suggested. The crowd seemed frustrated with the board's handling of Roberts and the interim selection process. Well, the school board in general, it's just time for the change. And at this point, we wouldn't care if Mickey Mouse was running. We would vote for Mickey Mouse over Miss Eileen Roy again. Some say the votes appeared predetermined, with the board giving little weight to opinions expressed by community members attending meetings. Very disappointed in some of our board members, especially the chair, for the way that she's been conducting the meetings and the way that they have carried on outside of the meeting and plotting and to get rid of our former superintendent. Two school board seats are up this year, but of the two incumbents, only Eileen Roy drew opposition. Sandy Hollinger was not in attendance last night, and her employment contract has yet to be approved by the school board. But it's expected she'll take over as quickly as the board moves on to the next search. Reporting live from the newsroom, Kelly Grossfield, WUFT News.